here we go. Today's show is going to be interesting. So last night, last night, we let the liquor talk. <laughs> is it liquor? Alcohol talk? Whiskey talk? I don't know. That song is just popping in my head. <laughs> I did not let any liquor talk last night because I did not have any liquor last night. But before I was diverted, here's what I was going to say. Last night, there was so much hail and lightning and thunder. I I think I was up all night. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this should be a pretty goofy show. That's all I wanted to say. Goofy show due to the weather last night. Okay. If anybody else was experiencing crazy, crazy weather yesterday, last night, all night long, let me know. All righty couple very quick announcements for everybody. Please do not get scammed. I will never reach out to you on social media. If you want a reading, you reach out to me on my website, T-O-N-I-G.I-N-F-O. Okay, that's done. Next. Um, uh, next is... Um, <laughs> it's going to be... It's going to be an hour, folks. It's going to be quite an hour. Okay. Um, I want to say hi to everybody um, in the chat, everybody waiting on Blog Talk. Please be patient. I will get to you today, I promise. Everybody who's already online, I will get to you. If you would like to call in, the call-in number is 845 877-9131. That's the call-in number. You can ask question. You can connect with a loved one on the other side. The upside, not the downside. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I'm not kidding, but is it? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to be a day. It's going to be a day. Okay. And then next, um, I go live every Monday and Wednesday at uh, noon central. If you would like to join us, you can join us live on YouTube where I record the show for Rude Rangers TV, where they stream it out on all of their streaming stations, including Roku and a number of other stations. Um, all of their uh, radio stations and podcasts, also WSCS, all of their streaming stations, and um, and then every every place it's I'm on. This show airs on almost every podcast, um, radio stations, and streaming stations, television stations. So we are out there. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, so if you'd like to join us live, call in, ask a question. Uh, connect with a loved one. Join us Monday, Wednesday at noon central. Uh, happy to have you. Um, I'm thinking about going live this weekend. So I'm asking everybody in the chat, should I go live Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, or Sunday afternoon? If you're in the chat, let me know. Um, if you're listening to this after the show um, on the replay, uh, put what works best for you. Also, I'm starting to plan some live events. Yes. Live events. I know it's been a minute, right? It has been a steady minute. It has. Okay. I want to say hi to everybody in the chat. I love you guys so much. We have Anne today, Caroline, uh, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Um, Heather. Uh, and Caroline, Rebecca, people keep, Terry, <laughs> people keep commenting. And then it, it goes, Nancy, hey, Nancy. Um, Nancy asked what her song today is. And her song is um, that song, Love is in the Air. I can feel it all around. And I don't know, I don't know, I don't know any more of that song. So that's your song, Nancy. <laughs> that is your song today, Nancy. Um, I know Genevieve is listening and Amy May is listening. Cindy, I love you so much. I hope all is going well. Jessica, I know you're going to listen later. Hey, Jess, what's up? Um, 
Okay, I think Fawn, hey Fawn, I think I have everybody, guys, today's TikTok healing is enjoying life, is that what it is? Being able to enjoy life, yeah. So go over to TikTok after the show and get that clearing and healing to be able to enjoy life in all of its moments. Uh, you will, it will not disappoint. I, ho I hope it won't disappoint. Maybe, I don't think it will, I won't. Um, somebody asked me what this is, and it's a smoothie. It it is not a chocolate shake. I I wish it was a chocolate shake. It's not. It's a smoothie with um, cocoa in it. So yeah, smoothie. Yes. Um, we are going to go and start taking callers. I want to say a few more songs that were coming through throughout the day today and yesterday. The first song. And again, now one song can be for more than one person. The songs can answer a question that you've been um, needing an answer to. They can, it can be a song between you and another person or a song this person loved or you loved. However, the song works for you. If it rings a bell, it rings a bell, which brings us to the first song. You can ring my bell, ring my bell. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay, I clearly, uh, yeah, my being on tune, in tune, whatever, I don't even know. Okay, and the next one is um, Say, Say, Say. What you want, but don't play games with my affection. Okay, I think that's how the words go. Yeah. Um, and then the next song is for Tommy or from Tommy. I hear Tommy. And then the song I hear is... Uh, that song, we don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. Dark sarcasm. Is that how that, is that what they say there? in the classroom? Hey, teachers, <laughs> leave those kids alone. <laughs> All in all, it's another brick in the wall. Oh my God, Tommy made me go like all, all the way through with that song. Oh my, oh my. Um, so I think that's going to, whoever that is for, they are going to know. Um, the next one. Okay, now I'm going to do the names of the people that I'm hearing. The first name I'm hearing is... Um, Again, I'm hearing the name. Um, okay, I'm hearing all these names, and I'm I'm trying to make sure they're not names that I'm hearing about or for me, and they're for you guys. So the first, um, I got it. Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to come back to names later on because that is not. <laughs> I'm not getting the, 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 uh, I'm getting names that I feel like are not for you guys. So we're going to go to callers. Woohoo. Okay. If you are joining us live in the chat, you can ask a question. I'll be happy to answer that question for you. Um, and and yes happy birthday and happy birthday Anne's birthday is tomorrow happy birthday sweetie um hey emily 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 just uh came on to the show welcome to the show emily um what I can say, her question is, will I work soon if you want to? I know that sounds crazy. And I know that you would think that, you know, she probably really wants to. But what I'm hearing is if you want to, I'm hearing, um, and it depends on what 
type of position you're going to take or willing to take. Emily, I'm going to come back to that because the people who have been holding for the calls have been holding quite some time and I, I want to be able to get to them. So the first caller is 205. 205, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tom. <clears throat> Tony, I'm a little under the weather or just um, so much calling here. I'm calling from Alabama, so I kind of feel with sinuses. And thank you so much for taking my call. You had <laughs> you me laughing, Tony, with the songs. You were doing very well, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that thank was you. beautiful. Thank you for those songs. <laughs> my question is centered around family. My elderly uncle, who is... Um, He's um, a veteran, and uh, he has a fiduciary who handles his estate and his finances. He was removed from his home that he purchased and paid all of them um, on the 17th of February because the family member that lives in that home moved a lot of people in. And so once he got wind to the fiduciary and you know, others, they said, hey, look, no, this is his home. You can't move all these people in. We're giving you like a 30-day notice to get all these people out of his house. But we were removing him, you know, uh, and, and then there was a little bit more that went with it with them removing, because this is like a second complaint. Um, so um, they are leading this. Um, the family is just kind of, we're sitting, making sure that, hey, you know, you guys, y'all going to take care of it. So they've told the family member that's in the house, not only to get the people out, you know, in 30 days, which has passed, but that my uncle is not coming back to the house until, you know, the people are got, take it, only, you know, until the people are out in 30 days, and if you don't get them out, you're going to leave with them, which that time has has two uh, that they gave that family number. So I want to know, do you see when this is going to come to a conclusion where my uncle can go back in his home? This is the first time in 70 some years, you know, that my uncle has had to leave a home of his. Okay. You know, it's just ridiculous that yeah. it has come to this. It is. I'm so sorry that it has come to this. I really, it it really hits me when family members take advantage of a family member yeah. like this, especially somebody who's a little older and they just go in and take over. And that is some, um, yeah. that's some real, there are a lot of words coming out that are not good words on this subject. But what I'm hearing is two things. I'm hearing two time frames. I'm hearing a month and a half, and I'm hearing June. What might have to happen, I don't know if a formal um, eviction has started, but you might have to start the proceedings for a formal eviction to get this all of these people out. Um, and shame on them. Shame on them. And once yeah. you do that, and it's actually been a month and a half. I'm sorry for interrupting. It's been a month and a half. Years. It's been six weeks since he's been out. Um, yeah. Okay. So, and then I I hear June very clearly. So I feel like by June he will be back in the home. Now, here's something that might be a little bit unexpected. Um, the family and friends might have to rally to go in and kind of clean up or repair whatever these other people do on their way out. I feel like you're going to need mm. to, you know how some people leave in a fit? That's all I can just hear is they're going to leave yeah. in a fit and they might leave things not very well taken care of. So people, family, other family members might have to go in and clean up the home before your uncle gets back in it. And you're going to have to check your uncles. Um, somebody needs to go to the, somebody needs to check all of your uncle's accounts, where his money is going, where um, uh, they're going to, somebody's going to have to get a hold of your uncle's finances and uh, talk with your uncle about his finances and 
where they should be and what they should be and make sure the deed of the home. I'm just getting there's paperwork that these people tried to change, whether that means putting themselves on certain accounts or the, the, the deed or the title for the home or whatever it is. There has to be um, people, uh, other fam different family members have to double down and check on this because I feel like there's been a lot of um, manipulation and taking control of, trying to take control of or spend or live off of your uncle in one way or another, probably in, in a couple of different ways where your uncle is um, like maybe they got a hold of his checkbook and, and wrote, wrote out some checks, um, or whatever it is, but double check all of his accounts, make sure you know all of his accounts and, and listen, if they're living there and your uncle still gets everything, you know, snail mail, let's just call it they have all the account numbers for everything. So you're going to want to just make sure everything is protected and safe and even do like a credit report check for your uncle, making sure new credit cards weren't opened up because that's I'm seeing something with the credit report that something shows up that your uncle just maybe didn't do. Um, somebody else may have done it. Mm. So this is a good way for you to be okay. very pro, you and the rest of the family to be very proactive. And what I'm hearing, and for what it's worth, you guys get to choose how you handle every situation with all of your family members. If they did do some of these things like spend his money, open accounts, take money out of his accounts, um, it's okay to prosecute. It's okay to prosecute. If, the, if, the, if, the, if he does have a veteran's fiduciary, he has to have a fiduciary over the state and his finances. So they, the Veterans Affairs have the, you know, um, the big part. Um, my brother was over Social Security, but the bigger money Veterans Affairs is, about, is over that. So is that something we need to check? Also, even though he has a fiduciary, do we need to still check into that money that they have been handling? Absolutely. I would. I'm just hearing you need to check all the accounts. Okay. Just check all okay. the accounts. Because, and his, one of the ways you can find out if they opened like let's just say a credit card in his name is by checking his credit report that will show up right away yeah so that's what i'm hearing you because okay. if you can't get money this way you might be able to get it this way or they might have had him take out a second mortgage or a reverse mortgage or something like that mm, so double yeah. check all of those things, because I just feel like they were trying not only to live there, but also to get money. And these are the things or the ways that right. you can check to make sure if they did this or not. And just to protect all of your uncle's assets and um, money and so on and so forth. So that's what I have for you, love. I hope this was really helpful. Also, um, I would have somebody who's closer and a male go into the house. And if there are still any valuables in the house, just kind of pack them up and pull them out. So these people don't move out with them. Okay, love. Okay. Thank you. It was very helpful. Thank you so much, Tony. I love you. Many blessings. Oh my I look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you so much. You are Thank so you. welcome. I love you too. And I hope you feel better very, very soon, my love. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. If you'd like to call into the show, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to go to the next caller, 312. 312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, Tony. My name is Brian, and I'm calling from Chicago. How are you doing today? Hey, Brian. I'm doing well. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for taking my call. My I was calling you today because I said, well, 
within the last couple of weeks, I've been contemplating uh, switching roles from being a teacher and going back to school to get credentials and becoming a school psychologist. Now, I've been working as a teacher for the last 15 years, off and on, um, and I've also worked in uh, leadership, but leadership just really hasn't worked for me, and, and I received less doors, so I'm just looking for something that will give me more uh, fulfillment and stability, and I just want to know where do you see me going yeah. in that direction. Absolutely. I feel like going back to school is an amazing move. You should do it. Become a psychologist. Don't worry about being a school psychologist. Go one step. Like, just make sure you're being all encompassing in the area you're going into. Don't lock yourself into one area is what I'm hearing. So if you're going back to school to become a psychologist, don't lock it into school psychologists. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, psychologists, psych psychiatrists, they're, they are in such demand. Um, people are having to wait weeks, if not months, to get appointments with them. So I feel like that's that's a very, very powerful move. And if you do want to work with a certain age group, go for pediatric or child psychology rather than school psychology. I'm just hearing... Um, go into a bigger room, like you're opening that door, don't go into this limited um, space, make sure you're giving yourself a lot of space to move. Once you do this, I hope that makes sense to you. It certainly does. Thank you. So oh, you, you. Okay, excellent, excellent. I am so grateful for that. And you know, uh, Brian, as soon as you came on, I heard this song, and it's coming from a family member who's uh, to the right of me. And um, I'm just gonna sing the first line. Everybody who knows will know. From the window to the wall, <laughs> till sweat. Drop down those. Yes, that song is coming on. <laughs> um, so whoever this guy, there's somebody on the other side that thinks they are hella funny <laughs> um, bringing that song to you. Um, whoever that is. Um, what a, From the window to the wall till sweat drop down these. Jeep, 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 jeep. Um, I'm trying to think of the next verse, but they just keep doing that verse over and over and over again. I'm trying to like push them into the next line of the song. Okay. I know you know the song though, right, Brian? I do. Okay. Now the family members that are here, the most important thing they want to say to you is do not, um, I, I this is going to sound like an odd message, but it makes perfect sense to me. Do not concede. Do not constrict yourself and go for the gusto. Don't don't. Um, I don't want to say it like that. Say it a different way. They're saying go all the way, like whatever your next step is, make it the most powerful step it can be. Um, I know that the message I gave you about. Um, like if you're going to go for psychology, go make it all encompassing or as encompassing as possible. That is coming from from your your family members here from the other side. And I know it's family. It's definitely family members. Um, and they're saying uh, just just go take it as far as you can um, so that. If you want to have options later, you will have those options, okay? Absolutely. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in. It's wonderful to talk with you. And I hope this was helpful for you. It was extremely helpful. And uh, thank you so much again, Tony. And looking forward to speaking to you the next time. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to post a weekend show later on today. I think it's going to end up being for Saturday evening because everybody on the chat is saying Saturday evening would be the best time. So that's probably when I'm going to do this show um, is Saturday evening. I uh, guess who won't be going out again this weekend? <laughs> I cracked myself up. <laughs> okay, Emily wants to know, um, so Emily, I'm trying to get into more into the 
energy of your question about work. Hey, Emily, if you can call in 845-277-9131, that would be amazing. Um, hit the one and I will, um, <clears throat> I will definitely, we will go over this question. I do feel like you are going to get work soon. I feel like it might not be exactly what you think it's going to be. You have to be very, very open to all possibilities and doing something possibly new. Okay. That's what I'm going to say for now. I'm going to go to 347. 347, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Tony? Yes. Oh, hi. I thought hey. you were talking to another. <laughs> no, it's you. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Hi, Cody. Hi. Hi, this is Katie. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How can I help you, love? Um, I, oh, I think I am going to be starting a new position soon, which is really good. And, um, um, I think it's going to be um, like hybrid where you kind of like go into the office and you can um, work remote. Um, so with that, because I was originally planning on moving further away from where I'm currently moving, living, and um, I'm just wondering about getting a place kind of like um, maybe on the outskirts because where I'm at, it's kind of... It's pretty expensive, but I'm going to be making a decent amount of money, but you still don't want to be paying like $40,000 or more, right? You know? Right. Okay. So I do feel oh, yeah, like... I'm just wondering. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, love. Go ahead. Oh, no, no. I was just think, wondering about, about um, I guess, getting a place and like in the town I'm in or near the town I'm in. Okay. It's going to be near the town you're in. It's going to be reasonable. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, it's not what you think it's going to be. Okay, so here's what I'm hearing. Okay, yeah, okay. So I'm hearing shabby chic. So to me, what I'm kind of seeing and hearing, I'm going to try to describe it to you and I might, I might not describe it perfectly. It might be like not brand new and up to date with everything, but I feel like once you get in there and you really put all your touches on it, it's going to make it look mm -hmm. really like what's old, what's what's old is new again or something like that. So for example, you find this perfect place with this perfect rent, but it hasn't been remodeled in a minute. You go in and you mm -hmm. don't have to remodel it, but you can, your things and your little touches really update it. If that makes sense. I love you so stinking much. I do. I love you so much. I want to thank Genevieve again for everything that she's done for me over the past couple of days. Genevieve's going to be on my show next week. She's traveling today, so she couldn't come on today. But Genevieve, thank you so very much. Um, and next week, she and I will talk about her amazing abilities that she has had since childhood. Okay. Um, so I will be back on Saturday or Sunday or Saturday and Sunday. We'll see what happens through the weekend. I love you all so much. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you.